All right. All right. I'm gonna give you a countdown, and that's when that's when we start. All right. All right. All right. Do I sound fine? Yeah, you sound good. You sound good. All right. Anything else you want to go over before we start? Uh, no. Nah. All right. Oh, cool. Good. Three, two, one. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. It's me, your favorite man who loves to yell at the computer screen over menial things that only 1% of the population cares about. It's me, probably Spider-Man or Kai E. Nick, and my guest here is Mr. Mr. Spider Chem. What's up? Um, I've been wanting to have Spider Chem on the show for a long time. I remember I reached out to you. I think I reached out to you like last summer to be on. And you were like, yeah, I need, I just need to get a computer set up or whatever. And then we could start. Yeah. That was a was long on, ass time ago. I was on vacation that summer and then I started college. So I didn't really have like a, oh, yeah, I see a nice environment to record in because like I had a roommate and everything. So yeah, I got, how old are you? Are you 19? I'm 18 still. Oh, I'll okay. be 19 this summer. Okay, so I'd say we're we're about the same exact age range. I was born February fifteenth in two thousand and three. I'm in college. I've been in college for about like almost a year. I'm wrapping up my. I'm not even wrapping up. I'm like halfway through my my summer semester. I'm taking psychology and American government. Uh, but that's that's not important right now. I've been following Kem's work for a long time. I've actually been a really big fan of Kem's work. Because I've I just I've always found there to be something so believable about your costumes and something that while still using materials that Peter Parker would be able to get his hands on, you still make a suit that's convincing and it still looks good. And I normally I, I wouldn't you know me, I don't puff paint all of my suits. I that's scary for me. But it's it's definitely it's definitely it takes some kind of bravery to puffy paint almost every single suit you do. Every single suit you do I've seen so far that I can think of has been puffy painted. And I wanted to ask you, is that an intentional choice or is it just something you're like, oh, I do it for every suit, I might as well? Uh, part of it for me is like a consistency thing. I kind of like all my suits to kind of like look like they were made by me. And like puffy paint kind of became like a thing that I do. Like, you know, you've been following me for a long time, like a long time ago. But... Uh, like my like dye sub suits, I don't always puffy paint. Just the ones that like I really want to, like movie suits or like this suit. But I mean, yeah, puffy paint is. I like doing it, but like I would never. <laughs> I'm not on that level yet where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna puffy paint a whole Tasm suit, you know? Oh yeah, I don't those think I could ever do that. Who, those people <laughs> who paint Tasm suits are fucking psychopaths. I swear to God, those people are insane. Uh, yeah, also, if you see me writing anything down, it's just because I'm putting down a timestamp to do an edit. For example, I'm just going to put your work on screen because I feel like a lot of people get bored because like there's nothing, there's no action in your face. So I'm going to like put up a couple of a couple of pictures of your suits that I really like. Um, okay. okay, so I, it's different for everyone, and it's something I'm definitely interested in hearing. What is the process? for making your suits because i know you used to do it the i used to do uh, you used to do it the zentai zone way where you would email zentai zone and be like hey uh send me this suit with this color fabric or whatever and they'll send you like a basic spider-man layout and you just you would put your 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 logos and webbing on it you use a new process now and i would like to hear about what goes into it like what goes into a suit that's handmade okay so that like Zentai zone process, I've only did it like three times. Uh, it was in the summer. Uh, you know, you know, Bug. He was like, "Yo, yeah, yeah, they they can do this." And I was like, "Oh, let me try it real quick." And so, what I do now is, uh, I either get like morph suits, like blank colored or whatever, mm -hmm. and like I cut them up and like I glue them together. Uh, but like, I don't usually use morph suits now, just because. I figured out that, like, when you cut, like, the morph suit mask off, because, you know, like, they come with the mask attached. Right. The zipper kind of gets messed up, and I've had, like, multiple zippers break on me when I did that. So, gotcha. Like, so, like, uh, what was that suit called? The spider shadow suit. I did that. Zipper, like, broke, like, Oh, I remember I which one you're it. talking about. 
Yeah, yeah so I get like these, I don't know what to call them. They're like, they're just like morph suits, but like they don't have the hand or the mask or and sometimes they don't have the feet. So I get those sometimes. And then I get one with feet to make the boots. Gotcha. Like, so I just piece it together type of thing. What I, uh, what I, I would actually, I, what I used to do is I would get, I would have like one consistent pair of gloves and I'd have one consistent pair of boots that were just socks. They're literally just a pair of socks. They're easy to get and they're comfy. And as long as you can find one that matches the color of your suit, you're fine. So mm -hmm. what I would do is I would, anytime I wanted to make a new costume, I would literally just make a new mask and a new bodysuit and that was it. I would leave it at that. And if you even want to boil it down to like a super consistent formula, even more than that, you could just get a pair of leggings and then have every Spider-Man suit you make after that use the same exact shade of blue if you can find it. Like, maybe get some thermal sets, because they come with, like, a pair of leggings and a shirt. And if you can... I remember I used to buy from Tesla a lot. That's T-S-L-A on Amazon. And I remember buying a lot of my... Because what I would do is I would I'd do the same thing, except I would just get a blue bodysuit, but then get a red muscle shirt instead. Mm -hmm. So that I didn't have to cut up a giant, like, red bodysuit and I would save myself a ton of cash. And I would have yeah, leftover yeah. fabric to make matching material with. A lot of the time, I would just make the mask out of the material that I cut out from the shirt. But I think uh, you, all you got to do is just make a boot, make a, make a pair of boots and gloves with consistent web pattern. Like, try to make an average of the layout of all the Spider-Man gloves, I guess, and boil it down into one glove. And if, you know... If you have the cash for that, if you have the cash to not do that every time and, like, make a new pair of gloves, then I'd say do it. But you know what I mean? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's yeah. exactly what I'm saying. Especially, like, if you're starting out, do what Kai said. Exactly. making those gloves, Kai knows. I hate doing the pain fingers. In the, it, it, yeah, it's like... pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. So... What I, what I end up doing now, actually, I'll get one of these Sharpies, and then I'll take the glove... And put it over the sharpie and then draw the fingers out over it. Because it's annoying as shit when you have to put the glove on and then do it this way. But this is like pop your own finger off and then draw all around it. I found that much easier. You find that the more you do this, you'll find your own little ways to innovate. It's all yeah. about what you stuff the suit with when you put webs on it and stuff. Yeah, definitely. Back in the day, I used to not even stuff my suit. I just had it fly out. Oh my, That's I can't terrifying. That. That's so terrifying. <laughs> I remember I made, like, one suit. I don't remember what it was, but I remember being so disappointed waking up in the morning, running to my garage, because that's where I'd leave my suits to dry, and seeing that, like, it seeped through to the back, and I was like, shit. And I, I fucking, I begged my parents for a mannequin for the longest time. And I finally got one, and then my mom woke me up one morning and was like, hey, um, I found a $20 mannequin on Facebook with a creepy-ass face. Do you want to just get that and i was like hell yeah it was the quickest thing I if you can get your hands on a cheap mannequin don't pass that shit up it's so useful just it's got to be impulse just, you just got to grab it get the mannequin when you can it's so useful definitely grab it because i've been looking for a mannequin that's not like 80 plus dollars for like it's a, a long pain. time but try try looking for like try going to some like online garage sales or like getting some mercury or whatever like if you see those yard sale apps try looking through those because that's where i found mine and i forgot that thing was sitting in the back if you if you realize like if you can just do it like getting a mannequin as a, as a spider-man cosplayer who makes their own suits is probably the easiest thing you can do speaking speaking of s s suits and stuff i wanted to ask i was so heartbroken when i looked on your story and i saw you were selling a lot of your suits and i wanted to ask like, if it's personal and, like, you got money troubles, I'm not going to ask you to harp on that. But I was going to ask what what made you sell – what made you sell a lot of your a lot of your work? Well, um, part of it is because I'm a money-hungry Mr. Krabs. But another part is uh, I want to remake a lot of them. Like, not the, like, older, older ones. Like, those are in the past. I wore those. I took pictures of them. I don't mind selling them because, like – Literally, I don't wear them. They've just been sitting in my closet. Need to free up space and stuff. Right. And for, like, the more recent ones, it was, like, 
I look at them and I'm like, something's kind of wrong. I don't know what it is. And then I remember one day, you actually pointed it out to me, uh, the web pattern, like on the shoulders, uh, they like go over. Yeah, they're like the overall webbing. I was literally going to ask you about that. A few questions. And I was down. like, and like, ever since then, I was like, man, these are cool, but they could be better if I change some web pattern stuff. Because other, like, there's some other parts too that I want to fix. Like, uh, I'm gonna try a new method to make like the this part more even, and like I wanna uh, fix up like the symbols and some of the lenses. Cause like I know with my ultimate one, I've tried like three different lenses and like I've not liked all of them for like a point in time, you know. And, I loved like, a lot taking, of them. Taking those lenses off and putting them back on is like damaging the spandex or whatever. So I was like, Oh yeah. Let me just make a new one because like I want like I want to make a new one, you know, like Right. I wanna like I think I could do them better if I did them now. Yeah, I remember I remember the first pair of ultimate lenses that you had. I was a little I was a little like, uh, okay, all right. But then you then you switched to that new pair and I was like, Okay, I like these a lot better. And then you switched them again and I was like, Damn it. When will it end? When will it end? I also I do wanna I do wanna encourage my viewers to to look through to look through some of your recent posts because that's where you're showing that you're selling the suits. Um, mm -hmm. I don't want you to like gain absolutely nothing from this podcast. So I want you to get some followers, some clout, maybe no clout, maybe get some clout on you. No, I'm just kidding. But you, uh, yeah. And then maybe have some people come over and buy your suits. And I think also, I think, you know, a lot of my viewers are like, Hey, um, how the hell do you make this shit? And I think maybe getting their hands on like a pretty cool costume that's been handmade can give them a lot of insight on how that's made. Like I, looking at movie suits sometimes isn't just enough for me. Sometimes I wish I could break into Sony's headquarters and steal <laughs> some of their old costumes so I could look at the intricate scene work. Man, like Sony better watch out, bro. <laughs> that's meant for them. I also, also I was this is off topic, but I was thinking about it the other day. I was like. Where the hell do you think they put that, like, unused Civil War Spider-Man? Where do they put all of their suits when, like, the like it's the, the movie ends, it's gone, and those suits are just, like, sent to the fucking shadow? Where did they go? Like, are they in storage facilities? I want to know. I'm, when I'm asking I was a these kid, I thought they'd give them to the actors, but apparently they don't give anything they don't. to the actors. The they actors don't. got, like, steel props and stuff. That's so, so lame. Like, I think they are like I know some suits are like in museums and stuff, but like I feel like they kind of auction off other suits because they do. They, they do sometimes. Off, like, the Daredevil costume. They so. they recently started auctioning off. I remember last year they I think they auctioned off the Spider Man three like red and blue suit. Uh, I and like I have a I have a friend of mine that really wants to play Miles. I know everyone has a friend that wants to play Miles. Fuck you. And I I I'm just. I'm, I'm going to have to blacklist this shit if he ever gets hired because Sony's going to just clap him up for this, but he's going to steal that shit. I'm not going to lie. He's going <laughs> to... And I'm going to encourage it, too. I'm going to be like, take that shit, bit. He's going to be like, eh, okay, I'm not really feeling that. Take it. <laughs> take I will, it. I, I'm straight up. Like, I'm... I get so fucking... Oh, it's so sad for me that, like, you see such, like, works of beauty on screen and then they're just... They're gone. They're gone forever. Like, one of my least favorite things about the Tasm 1 suit is that we never got to see it in the daytime. Think about it. Like, we got to see it in, like, sort like of a, a sunset environment, yeah. a more, like a rise, but never, like, in stark daytime, which is sad. Which, it, it does fit a lot more in the night. The, the vibes of the suit are definitely more night suit vibes, but I kind of wish I got to see it in the day with all that pretty paint on it and shit. But I'll just have to watch, like, people like... Uh, I think it's AACB. I know I know his name. His name's Andres and I I've, I've talked with him before but I don't remember his at. But he he made a pretty cool painted Tasm suit. But anyway, that's again off topic question. One thing I wanted to say, I really love and this suit you're wearing specifically does this. I love when the spider logo is really fucking big and it like 
fills out the entire V section here. And I've always found that whenever I make costumes, and I for this costume especially, I was like, eh, I'm not really feeling the logo. I'm going to switch it out for something else. This one, I contemplated having a bigger one that sort of does the same thing yours does. But then I was like, eh, I'm just going to make it an evolution of that one suit that everybody likes that I barely wear. So, <laughs> yeah, but I was going to ask. Relating to that, another one of your suits that does a similar thing with a really big logo, the radioactive Spider-Man suit. That's one of my favorite fan-made Spider-Man designs because I think the purple the purple and yellow color scheme is one that actually I find really works well for Spider-Man. And I was wondering if you could give me some insight into what went into making that costume in the first place. Um. So... It was like last year and like uh in school i doodle a lot and like i like draw little things and like my notebooks and stuff and i remember like like before then like a couple years before that you know how everybody like makes like their like uh like their spider-man universe or whatever yeah and so i was doing that and i was like what if instead of red and blue i made them purple and black and so i did that and it looked cool, but like I wasn't really feeling it because it was just it was just Spider Man, but he was purple. That was like yeah. It. And so like I revisited that design, and I was like, okay, so if we switch some things around, we give him yellow eyes, uh, make the we make the purple webbing like we make the webbing like uh, messy and stuff. And so like it kind of just I started adding things to it. I was like, oh, since he's edgy, let's give him some hand wraps because he'd be being on oh, people yeah. or whatever. And that suit just kind of evolved as like I went on doing it. But good news, I know I haven't worn that suit in a while. It's getting a remake, kind of like oh, this hell one. Oh yeah. Kind of like this one, but it's a little bit different. The logo is going to be upside down, and the back logo. Basic design. Oh, I see. You cut out for a little bit on that last part. What did you say about the back logo? Uh, the back logo is just going to be different. But like it's all, it's like the same exact design almost. Just oh, I see. I don't think I've seen the back logo on that suit. It's very ugly. I never really saw <laughs> yeah. it. Um, That's fair. That's probably why. Cause I fucking I'm 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 I fucking stalk the shit out of your page whenever you put out a new suit. I'll be like, <laughs> I scroll all the way through to the end. I don't like it. I, I don't like it until I get to the end. <laughs> but like yeah, so like that back logo was messy. I like it was out of foam. I glued it on. It kept falling off. I was like, I'm not going to show the back that much. Yeah, I remember I made a suit for Spider Manderson. And I, I, I cut out this logo for him. And then I glued it on the back of the suit. And then I was like, why the fuck isn't the glue sticking? It literally, it was Gorilla Glue, velvet, and some faux red leather. And I was like, what the f... It wasn't going on. So I, what I do now is I just... I cut out like a little strip of the fabric and then I'll take my foam material, whatever I'm going to use. And I just try to glue it on and then I'll do a little pull test, see how well it sticks together. That's what I do whenever I glue anything on because I fucking, I was, I was under so much stress after that suit because like I'm fucking making this for him. I can't remake the entire thing. I have to fucking rush to find a solution. And I did. And I did. And then Manderson never wore it. And I won't lie. I, I was about did to it. say, I was like, I was looking forward to seeing that suit. Like, I saw you working on it. I was like, oh, it's about yeah. to be cute. And then I never saw it. I think, I think what it is, I think what it is, and this is no offense to Manderson, because, like, I understand that, like, if you don't like a suit that you paid for and you were, and we're homies and we're friends, you know what I mean? It's kind of hard to come to me and be like, "Hey, uh, I didn't, I didn't like the way it looked on me," and I get that. And I, I, I'd like to talk to Manderson about it sometime, and maybe, maybe we can come to a consensus. The ma- I think the main problem he had was the mask. I think the mask was, I think the mask just didn't look right on his face, and I think that's probably because of he's got like really big hair, so. Mm-hmm. That's kind of not my, it is kind of my fault because I didn't really account for that. But I think a lot of the time, maybe wearing something under the mask that'll like 
Because having, like, big hair that sticks up isn't really good for wearing, like, a full mask. And also, I think... I probably... I don't know. Because it's kind of... I got a haircut, so, like, that used to affect me. And I know, like, when other people, like my friends sometimes, like, they'll put on my mask and stuff, I'll be like, that looks off. It looks a little silly. I think it's just because, like, I made it for myself, you know? Sometimes people get blessed with a perfect Spider-Man face shape and some yeah. people don't and it sucks and that brings me to my next point cam cam <laughs> me and you me and you we have a very specific thing in common i remember i'll go through your comments whenever you post because i get excited to see what you have to say because there's always that one guy in each of our comments that's like you need a face shell and both of us immediately are like fuck you no for real it I, makes me mad. It makes me <laughs> mad because a lot of the time, like recently, I just posted the homecoming suit I did for a commission, which I'm still mm-hmm. waiting to ship out because the guy's like, okay, wait till I get home and I'll pay you for it. And I'm like, but I wanted the money now. Right? And he – so I, I post a video of me in that suit because, like, I can't just make sex and then not post it. You know what I mean? And then I did. I did do that. And I remember I was like – it was a banger video. It was a great job. I look great in the suit. I like the shots. I go in the comments. The first thing I see is it's almost perfect. It would be just that much better if you got a face shot. And I fucking popped the fuck off. I was like, <laughs> I don't need that shit. Fuck you. Or it was like something along the lines of that. And then everybody in the comments immediately ran to that comment. and was like, hey, man, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why can't you take criticism? And it's like. I shouldn't have popped off at him, but at the same time, I don't need a fucking... I don't need it. I don't need a face shot. You know what? No, no. You you did that, because, like... Yeah, uh, you know what? I'm going to let let Kem say... I didn't say it. Like, like, you know, like... We Spider-Man cosplayers. I'm going to get the shell right now. I'm going to put this shit to rest, okay? I'm going to make sure it's a good one, too. We get... We get comments, like, on almost every video... Telling us what should and shouldn't be done with the suit. It's annoying. So like, it's mean. annoying. Like, like you're not like, wearing. I it. would, I would get it if I had a wonky face, but we don't. We look fine. We, we look fine. That's the thing. People be like, it'd be so good, but this. It I'm already like, is. But like, you don't have to say but this because then you're just like you're not being genuine at that point. Yeah. Type thing, okay. You know? Here's here's no face show. Here's no face show. Okay, I want you to remember this. Remember this. No face show. I'm going to put the face show on. This is an old... This is a face show I got off Amazon, so it's not... The face shape of it is fine. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on. Virtually almost no... Okay, actually, wait. The camera makes... The camera makes it look good, but I swear to God... I... I my face is just a little fuller at the bottom. And that's it. There's like and almost no difference to me. Like and you honestly, have a, you have a fine Spider-Man face, you know. Like my jawline is fine, and I think if anything, you lose a bit of readability when you're in the face shell. Anyway, like I did such a hard double take just now, where I was like, okay, that doesn't look too bad, but my webcam sometimes be fucking me up just a little bit. But I and and also it's just like I'd rather wear it without the face shell anyway. Like yeah, the face shell does make it look just a tiny bit better. But, like, why would I do that when my face is fine enough already and, like, I can take the mask off like this and you can see my mask move so that it feels like I'm actually a human being wearing a costume and not, like, a fucking robot with fabric on it? Yeah, it's like... It's just annoying. You, 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 like, not to hate on people who use face shells. Face shells are fine. It's just not our thing, you know? Yeah, it's, but... not, like, it's not like I'm saying if, I, if you use a face shell... I'm going to drone strike you, but like, yeah, dude, use it. More power to you. I think face shells are fucking awesome. I'd like the versatility of it. I like that you can have like a pair of lenses that you can use for every costume, but I made this shit. I don't need you coming in here and telling me what looks good when I've made sex. I've made good shit. Okay. I, I like you weren't here with me for the whole thing. Like you didn't sit here. You didn't sit here and be like, oh, I think it would look better if you did this. And I'm like, like it's just annoying. It's just annoying. Okay. I made annoying. this. I, I would understand if it was like a Zentai costume that there was no effort put into it. 
by the person buying it other than the cash spent to get it. Fuck you. I made this. Let me fucking wear it the way I want to fucking wear it. Like, I can understand you face shell policing. Like, it was for this suit. I got a comment. And it was like, you should get a face shell to be more accurate. And I was like, to what? accurate to what? My to own what? design? This is my design. <laughs> I don't even, like, I swear to God, these people who suggest face shells, I feel like they don't even fucking know what they do. I they feel don't. like they're, it's just something <laughs> that, that people are like, hmm. It's something a lot of Spider-Man cosplayers use, and I know he's not using one. I don't know what it does, but I'm going to suggest... It's annoying as shit. You don't know what it does. I swear to God, you just don't fucking know what it does. You don't know what it's for. Because if you knew what it was for, you wouldn't be up my ass right now. It's so (laughs) annoying. It's annoying as shit. It's like... I don't need you here. I don't need you here to, like, harp on me when my face looks fine. That's... I don't know. I don't... Like, I don't want to sit here and say the same thing over and over again for 20 minutes. And then there's the people who just completely throw out the costume and are like looks kind of trash without a face shell so you're telling me my in- the just the shape of my face was enough to ruin this costume do you know how many spider-man cosplayers on your for you page just buy a zentai that has no like dimension and texture to it and just call it a day fuck you your mama it's so annoying <laughs> it's so annoying that's enough that's enough face shell hating we've been doing this for like I looked away and I was like, damn, I almost ran through all the questions and we're not even like 15 minutes in. Now we're, tw- we're now we're 10 minutes in and we've been complaining about face shells. <laughs> all right. Face shell heatedness. Face shell heatedness is over. Okay. That's literally what I typed out. I typed out face shell heatedness. <laughs> I saw your Robin suit recently. Yes. You recently posted your Robin suit. And I was actually really fucking surprised with how good it was. Not, like, basing it off of, like, your quality of skill, because obviously you have a lot of skills. But I was so surprised how versatile you were with being, like, completely able to move over to a different... Because every superhero costume requires a different setup to put together. It's like, Batman requires, like, ironing, because you have to do a lot of ironing and shit on the cape. You have to fucking figure out how to vacuum form a fucking rubber ass cast. Like Spider-Man is one of the fucking easiest things you can do, honestly. But I was so surprised to see how good your Robin was. And I would like to hear you speak about that a little bit as I put, as I forget to put pictures on screen of your Robin suit. <laughs> so, um, uh, little story about that suit. That suit I made, I made it in like, what year? 2020. And, uh, like, it didn't look like that when I made it. It was like a full suit type thing. Right. And I was like, I, like, I never posted it because, like, I didn't really like how I looked in it. And then I revisited it this year, and I was like, okay, I have, like, knee pads and, like, uh, elbow pads and stuff now. And I was like, I'm not really feeling the whole bodysuit type thing for Robin. So... I made it into like that little like I don't know what would you call it, like the shirt with like the skirt type thingies on it, and like it just like a out. tunic. Huh? It's like a tunic. I, I guess you know. could call it that because that's what because like Link from Zelda wears a similar thing and it, they call yeah. it a tunic. So I just made the bodysuit into that, and then I just added all like the knee pads and like the gauntlets and the gloves and stuff, and I was like, okay, this looks a lot better. So, yeah. I I might be commissioned to make a Robin suit soon, which I'm actually really excited for because I've been waiting a long time for someone to come to me and give me something interesting about another superhero that I'd love to make. I've been trying for a long time to get... I don't want to get out of the Spider-Man game, but I want to make something else just once. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I I don't want to reveal who it is for, like, privacy's sake. But someone came to me and was like, hey, do you want to make a Dan Moore in Robin suit? And I was like, I would fucking love to do anything but spider-man for the next five minutes but it's not that i don't like spider-man anyway but we just we all need a break sometimes yeah we all need a break sometimes we all need a break sometimes like me me personally i my love of spider-man is strictly driven by the fact it's my special interest so like it's hard for me to get away from it sometimes but 
I've been feeling kind of a burnout recently, I'm not going to lie. Like, my special interest used to be the entirety of Spider-Man, and that's it. But now, as I have less and less time to sit down and read a comic book, it's a very intensive task. You have to sit down and read. You can't have shit going on in the background. You can't be drawing as you're reading it, you know what I mean? So, I moved more over to things that capitalized on my creativeness, which is making stuff. So I became more of like a passive Spider-Man viewer where like I consume all the things that I can do shit in the background with or that's completely intensive, like a video game or a movie. And that's when I sort of focused more on like the design of the Spider-Man costume. And my special interest sort of is becoming more about me, I swear to God, but like shifting more towards how does Spider-Man be Spider-Man, like making Spider-Man stuff. I forgot what this question was about in the first place. Anyway, I want to hear I want to hear some of your opinions about Spider-Man media nowadays. That's something I'd like to hear. Like, I don't know if you've been a frequent I have frequent watcher of my my content. But I, do. I I watch your stuff like all the awesome. time. Awesome. Okay, cool. <laughs> Cuz yesterday I put out a video that, that's when I we filmed this. We filmed this yesterday. That was when I put out my we filmed with the but when this was filmed, this fucking video you're watching was when I just put out that fucking suit video where I was like, "Oh, this suit sucks." I want to know what you thought about the suits that I was legitimately shitting on in that video, like the redesigns or like the suits like Marvel put out. You know what? I like to hear about both because I I'm not really I'm not really confident in like the major redesign I put in the beginning of that video. I drew it up in an hour. And I was like, "This is good shit," and I came back to it like an hour later, and I was like. Okay, so, like, the... I'm going to talk about, like, the suits they put out first and the redesigns. So, okay. that Threat and Medicine suit, ugly. Hate it. Would never want to look at it ever again. Less people are going to watch this, so I'm going to be mean, too. Hey, man, <laughs> that shit is nasty. I don't... The colors. Like, I feel like just a recolor would fix that suit. It would, but, like, it's just... I don't know. It's, it's just ugly to me. It's not but, it. The the redesign you did, I thought it was really smart that you implemented like Twitch and everything in it, you know, because like yeah, I had that idea for a while. You can but, even see in some of those recolors. I did that. I did those recolors maybe like a day that after that suit came out. So that was an idea yeah. I had in the back of my head for a while. I liked that part, but I feel like it might have been a little bit too simple, just a little bit, you know. That's definitely fair. But like, I was so that, scared to open it. the comments. But, um, and then what was the next suit? It was like the Ben. It was one. beyond, but it was sort yeah. of a joke because yeah. all I did was center the, the logo and that's it. That's all I did to it. Yeah. I love that because I don't like the off center logo. It looks weird to me. It fucking pissed me off so much at first, but then I like forced myself to be around the suit a little more and I was like, okay, I'm kind of digging. That's what I do when I don't like costumes. I'll force myself to be around them and that's how i sort of warm up to them a little bit and i'm like uh, okay it's, it's mid like it'll go from fuck this i hate this to like okay it's mid or yeah. it's great that's what i did with uh you remember when insomniac put out those three extra spider-man suits the amazing one the samurai looking one and then the the extra armored one it was like oh, white that and armored red. one Dude, um, <laughs> what the fuck is the point of that suit, like, lore-wise? Uh, if it, it doesn't exist in lore, fine, whatever. But if it's a canonical suit, why the fuck does he need it? There's already a fucking armored version of that costume. And it's the anti-aqua one. <laughs> so why does he need this awkward-ass, in-betweener-ass suit? But, like, yeah. Yeah, no, but that's the way I warm up. I want to know what you thought about the Oscorp suit, because I've heard a lot of people who didn't hear about that suit until I put out that video. I knew about it. I saw it on Twitter, and I was like, Jesus. <laughs> but it's like, not good. It's not good. Like, It looks too close to the classic suit, but then it Carried looks it. off because you add those little ball sacks on his arm. <laughs> it's weird as shit. Like, I'm, again, I'm going to be mean because less people are going to watch this. I feel like the classic suit design that they put under the vet heavily carries the costume. And it's just like, at this point, at this point, why? Why? Like, why would you? 
if you're not going to do something new, if you're just going to throw the classic suit under the vest, then what's the point of even making it? Like, if, you, if you're going to modify the classic suit and make something like the PS4 costume, for example, that's justifiable. The quality of that suit justifies its existence because it's good. It's a good suit. It's a good redesign. But what's the point with this one? What the fuck is the point? That's the one time. You know what I think, I think the point is? What? We've gotten like so many new Spider-Man suits. It's they it's want just them like to be in the game. Like that's like yeah, one I, of the main reasons I think it's that's happening. fucking. That's actually smart as shit because if you make a good enough costume, they'll probably fucking put it in the game. And people are gonna be like, oh, where's this from? Actually, I didn't think about that. But the yeah. thing is, is like, if there's one thing I want you to take away from that video I put out yesterday, and if there's one design, one design where I want you to be like, oh yeah, Kai knocked it out of the park and did a better job than Marvel. It's that. It's the fucking it's Oscorp one, yeah. suit. It's the yeah. Oscorp suit. You can think all of the other like redesigns I did were dog shit, but if you think the Oscorp one is better, that's the objective opinion. Because like I. I don't want to be an asshole. I really don't because I feel bad because I feel like often I forget there's someone behind all of this who makes this stuff. Yeah. And I, I, it's so easy to isolate yourself from calling someone's work bad. And mm-hmm. I get it all the time. I remember the first time I had a video on TikTok go viral, people trashed the shit out of my work. And I was like, damn, this fucking, this is mad upsetting. So I feel like a lot of people who don't have clout like me should think about that when they say shit like that. But anyway... My Oscorp design is objectively better. There's no arguing. There's no arguing. It's true. Like, I, if you put out a poll right now, if you put out a poll right now of every Marvel fucking Spider-Man fan, every fucking Spider-Man fan, every Marvel fan, fuck it. Let's just bring in the Marvel people. Mine would, I would guarantee you mine would poll better. Mine would do better. I think so. The Actually, only thing no, I change about your redesign is just add the web back that's it yeah honestly not actually now that i'm thinking about that i'm kind of scared that it wouldn't pull well because you know how many because you want to know the same fucking people you know it's not just one guy that put that suit in and nobody like stop nobody like supervised him or anything motherfuckers supervised him and saw that and they were like that's fine so you know there's probably going to be some people who were like no i just like that one and That's like true. don't do any fucking critical thing you know what <laughs> pull spider-man fans just pull the fans because that's what it's for at the end of the day pull the fucking fans see what they think actually fuck what i said earlier <laughs> anyway <sighs> what do you what do you think about i want to know what you think about some of the, the spider-man movies that come out because that's what i do a lot of the time when like i run out of questions i want to ask you what you think about spider-man media any hot takes any comics any versions of spider-man that you fucking absolutely hate the shit out of what do you like what do you love what do you hate i want to know about it okay so i have like i have one hot take that like i feel like everybody's gonna be like whoa what do you mean by that okay we could talk about that let's save it for a little bit i'm gonna talk about the movies first though all right so as a spider-man fan like for me, I've been a Spider-Man fan like my whole life, basically. And I've basically watched like almost all the media he's in, pretty much. Even that oh, shitty yeah. like Marvel Spider-Man like cartoon. Like, I didn't Disney finish movie. that shit. I hated it. I didn't finish Ultimate either. I'm mad annoying. I finished both of them. And I'm like, I'm never watching that again. But <laughs> But like, I can't, I don't hate any of the movies like at all. Well, actually, I have one that like I probably will never watch again which is far from home. It's just, I did not like that movie. That's fair. But I like all of them. Uh, I just think some are better than others just because, like, I don't know. I don't like the MCU formula, like, anymore. Like, yeah, I, I think used, a lot of like, people are tired of it. I'm tired of it. And, like, you put Spider-Man in that, and I'm like, oh, man, it's not really, like, that interesting anymore. Yeah, I feel like a lot of comic book fans are just getting, like, ex- especially, like, Moon Knight fans recently. I just watched Godzilla Mendoza. I was watching it while editing my fucking video I put out yesterday. I watched I that video like, yesterday. I was like, I thought Moon Knight... I think people are so fucking, so fucking horny to get angry at comic book fans for being mad when... Or not even being mad, just not being satisfied when their character isn't adapted properly. Like, why are you mad? Like... 
you just got here. You just fucking got here. Like, your investment in this shit is not as big as the people who are reading the comics that expected it to be one way. Like, why are you mad? And, like, what's the yeah. problem with accuracy? Because if people liked Moon Knight before he was a fucking movie, like a, a fucking MCU character, why wouldn't they fucking like him if they just completely adapted it from the comics the same way? Like, you'd probably just get the same fucking people who like Moon Knight or would have liked Moon Knight as a comic but don't read comics. Now they like him in the movie because the movie is the exact same way. You would just get, like, people the same – they would just get the same, like, fan base. Exactly the yeah. same. And it wouldn't create this debate with comic fans where they're like, oh, it's not accurate. And then people who are like, no, it is accurate. Shut up. Fuck you. My it's like – like, My thing with accuracy is that, like, people will be like, accuracy doesn't matter because it's an adaptation. Well, then what are you doing the adaptation for? Yeah, literally. Just make a new character then if and you're not like, going to have it be the same character. What the fuck is the point of adapting a character that no one fucking knows about? You know what I mean? Like, what's the fuck is the point of adapting and changing a character that no one knows about? Because then it's going to make everyone think that it's not a way, it's the it's not the way it actually is. Yeah. But I, I think that, like, I think, yes, accuracy is, like, a flippant argument because, like, do you be accurate to the run that everyone hates? Like, do you be accurate... Like, for example, I've seen a lot of people shit on Spider-Man PS4 because it has very slot-esque writing. So, is Spider-Man... So, PS4 Spider-Man is accurate, but he might not be as good. So, I guess accuracy is like... I guess it's all about what people like. Just find out what people like from the comics instead of just taking shit from the comics and throwing it in willy-nilly. Find what people like. Find out what people like and put that shit in the movie because it's really annoying. I'm tired of having this argument every fucking time a new Disney Plus show comes out where people are like, yeah, um, I wish that uh, Mr. Knight was actually how he was in the comics and not some goofy, silly Englishman. And then some fucking fangirl who just loves Steven because, oh, he's a fucking cute cute little man that she loves to infantilize because he has a mental disorder it's like no shut up it's better this it's so annoying it's so annoying <laughs> yeah but i want to know i want to know what is give me give me your if you can't think of like a straight up list because i have to i have to sit down and think about this when i have this question but what is your give me your favorite spider-man movies least or fa most favorite to least favorite okay so most favorite it's like a tie. Uh, Spider-Man 1, Toby, and then Into the Spider-Verse. Let's fucking go. Those are my top. Like, those you like Spider-Man 1 more than 2? I do. I like. I watched it more. When I was a kid, I was like, man, fuck 2. I don't like it. Because yeah. like, it didn't have action or whatever. But like, I got older and I was like, oh, that's cool. I like it. So then like, I think after those two, it's Spider-Man 2. Amazing Spider-Man 1, Spider-Man 3, like, uh, No Way Home, and... That's that a hot-ass fucking take. I, I, okay, I like it, but, like... Yeah, it wasn't the best, it wasn't the best written. It wasn't for the, it wasn't the best for me, because, like, I like more grounded Spider-Man stories. I don't like when he's, like, going in space and, like, in the multiverse... Yeah, I like it. I like it when it's like done well for like as character, but like for me, part of my dislike for No Way Home is like people are like, "Oh, he's finally Spider Man." I'm like, he shouldn't finally be Spider Man. He's had like six movie appearances, you know? Yeah. Like, but I like, do I, think I still no, like sorry, it. Like... It's just it's not up there for me anymore. Oh yeah, no, it's definitely not the fucking best written. Like people, I saw a lot of people that were being like, "Oh, this is the best Spider Man movie of all time," and I was like is it though like you did you did you think it was the best spider-man movie of all time or did you like it because you saw andrew and toby again like you gotta weigh all this shit together okay yes it's fair to pick it apart i think a lot i remember seeing an argument on twitter that was like oh take out a big integral part of the movie and what do you have left uh obviously the movie's gonna be worse dude you can like for example with spider-verse if you took away the animated visuals you would still have a well-written movie 
Like, you would still have a really well-written movie that's a very good comedy. You add the animation back in, it's stellar. Like, if you pick, you can pick apart these movies, and if there's still good shit left, then that validates the pick-apart argument. And you can do that for bad movies, too. If you take out fucking Michael Morbius out of fucking Morbius, you have a fucking bland movie that nobody cares about. <laughs> but if you put in Morbius, you just get a tiny bit of name recognition and fucking Morbin time. And that's it. That's all you have. You can pick apart movies and shit. But No Way Home was not... It's not the best Spider-Man movie of all time. It's good. It's definitely good. But I think Toby and the shit from the earlier movies carries the fuck out of that movie. Yeah, like... But it's good! It's not that it's I, bad. I it's fucking movie. good. Like, it's not bad. Like, it's just... It's not up there for me. Like, I don't think I've seen a single Spider-Man fan outright be like, I fucking hated No Way Home. I think i maybe seen one guy... One guy said he fucking hated No Way Home. And I was like, okay. Whatever. It's yeah. fair. But there's one thing I want to fucking say. Now, I don't know if I said this in the last podcast with Johnny. I might have. So I'm going to gloss over it really quickly. People leave the fuck out of Spider-Verse. People forget that movie exists. And it makes me so sad. Because I genuinely so, think... It makes me mad because, like... That is that is the It's the best one. Movie. It's the best fucking one. For me, that's the comic book movie. Like, it is the a, comic book It is the best comic book movie of all time. All it's time. Not like, it's not like embarrassed. It's not like, oh, let me let me make fun of it. Like it's embracing it. Like cause I hate when like the comic book media does that. It's like, oh we're we're like kinda like embarrassed that like it's so silly. Like then, what 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 are you doing it for? You know, like yeah, don't be embarrassed they, by your source material. They only make fun of the source material when it is absolutely necessary and when it's actually fucking funny to do so. Like in the original cut of Spider Verse, there was a scene where Spider Ham makes a joke when he's talking about Uncle Aaron dying. When you watch the director cut, they're like, "Oh, we had a joke that pulled really well." But then we thought about it and we were like, no, that actually takes away from the emotional moment they're having right now. And instead of keeping it in, they took that shit out. And I was like, this scene would have been so much worse if they would have kept that in. Like, Spider-Verse is, it is the comic book movie of all time. And there's one thing that makes that so for me. If it wasn't animated, it would just be among the best. The fact that it's animated to perfectly mimic the comic books is what undisputably makes it the best. Every comic book movie should be like that. Every single one. Yes. Like, that, that's why it's up there for me. It's like, it respects the comics. It's and fresh. Like, it wants to look like the, like, you know, like, that's just what makes it good for me, you know? It doesn't fucking, it doesn't fucking do bullshit. It does not do bullshit. Spider-Verse, in the entirety of its runtime does absolutely zero bullshit. There's no like, bullshit to be found. Not a frame is wasted. In not a movie. frame! Like, not a single fucking frame is wasted in that fucking movie. It's so fucking amazing. I'm so scared that they're not gonna fucking do as good as they did on the sequel because they have a whole new writing team. Like, fucking Chris, Chris Miller and Phil Lord, they've made some of the best fucking movies of all fucking time. The most well-written movies of all fucking time and i'm fucking like i'm scared that i'm gonna have to be fighting in the trenches for this movie when it comes out because people are gonna be like oh it's not as good i'm scared I'm, i don't care i'm gonna I'm be defending the spider-verse franchise with my life. till i die <laughs> till i die sorry go on yeah okay I'm so, so i passionate. think i think i'm ready to get into my hot take now because if people haven't already clicked off from what we've been we saying. got ten minutes left, baby. Let's let's we'll argue about this now. shit. I wonder if I'm gonna have to argue, but I'm 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 hearing it. I'm hearing it. Okay, so I thought about it last night. I'm like, I know Kai's gonna ask me some media question. I might pull this one out just to be okay. So I think people argue a lot, and it's like, should Sony keep Spider Man? And I think, yeah. They should. Oh, I was literally thinking about this shit last night. I was, like, thinking about it. I should make a video on this. And then, like, completely fucking give only one reason. And that one reason... <laughs> look. <laughs> look. Sony needs to keep their hands on this fucking franchise. I used to be like, oh, boycott... No. Sony need to keep that shit. Because I'm... If we gave Spider-Man 
completely over to fucking Marvel and Disney, they'd fuck the shit out of poor Peter, bro. We would not have, we would not, like, if, if during the whole fucking, if Marvel didn't sell Spider-Man to Sony in the 90s, we wouldn't have Spider-Verse. We wouldn't have the best comic book movie, undisputably, of all time. When you think about it, we wouldn't have the MCU either. Like, yeah, because Spider Man fucking Spider Man jump started the shit out of superhero movies. Spider Man was such a fucking cock blockbuster that everyone was like, okay, we need to make superhero movies like right now. Yeah, and like my thing is, if Sony keeps their hands on Spider Man, I love that because like they may not have the best track record or whatever, right? But at least they make stuff that isn't the same. Yeah, at least we're guaranteed to get like a gem every now and then. At least, like, we, they'll get something different. Like, like, if Disney held on to Spider Man forever, it'd just be like the same thing. Like, every couple years we get like Ultimate Spider Man cartoon. Like, every couple years we get like Spider Man Far From Home again, you know? Like, but with, with, with Sony having it, at least they'll be like, Hey, you, random director, do this. Literally. Eventually, eventually it'll be, it'll get a little muddy because, like, they like to put their hands in it. But, like, the same time, would you rather have, like, the same movie, like, a hundred times? Or would you rather have, like, different movies that vary in different quality? That's what I'm saying. Because I feel like with Sony, we at least got a gem more consistently than we did, than we have. Like, I can't think of the last Disney marvel spider-man thing that they made and i was like damn that shit's pretty heat other than no way home like with sony we got fucking gems like tasm one and that movie is a gem Uh, into the spider-verse and like the spider-man trilogy we got consistently good movies from sony but now that the ball's in marvel's park they're fucking it up like again what the fuck is going on with these fucking cartoons? Like, these are so dog shit. They piss me the fuck off. You like, know what? You know what makes me mad about the cartoons? What? Disney owns Marvel. Disney, right. known for their spectacular animation, is making subpar shows. Dog shit. Animated show. Like, that's they their whole ads. brand is animation. They so make it's ads. Bad. <laughs> and it's the, it's the same fucking thing every time with these fucking shows. With these past two fucking Spider-Man shows, it's been annoying ass voice actor for the character. I hated Drake Bell before he was a pedophile. Okay, I was cool before all of you motherfuckers. All right, I say this every time he his name comes out of my mouth. I hated him before all of y'all. Not clout chased the shit out of that. Okay, forgettable ass cast of characters that are either extremely annoying or like just do dumb shit that I don't care about, or in the in the plot is just dumb. The plot is dumb. Every fucking time. There's something I always don't like about, like, the overarching setting. With the newer one, it was fucking Horizon School. I hate that shit. And then with Ultimate, it was the fact that S.H.I.E.L.D. was so far up giving Spider-Man a prostate exam. I wasn't feeling that. (laughs) I was so annoyed by that. And then... And then they would just do stupid-ass shit for no reason. Like, oh, um, do you want a fucking show that has slightly... Like, a very slightly bland color palette, but enough to piss you off? No! Why would I want that? This is a fucking comic book story. This story based off a comic book. Why the fuck would I want the visuals to be fucking... I don't know, like fucking... Like bland and brown? I don't want that shit. Like, if there's one thing I liked about the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon, it was sometimes it looked really fucking good sometimes. Like, sometimes it would look fucking great. And sometimes the lighting made it look awesome. The thing that made me mad about Ultimate Spider-Man is like, it looks cool. Like, it looks fine. The Sometimes story and like the story's not good. Just it was just ah. Uh. And the fact yeah, that like, they why fucking is he the wall? why is he doing that? Literally, and they took the name of one of the fucking one of the most well loved Spider Man runs out there and fucking barely adapted anything out of it other than Peter's stupid ass haircut. They didn't even attempt to make it look like Bagley's art style either. It's so annoying. Yeah. If there's one thing I hate about Marvel's like recent voice actors. I'm 19 years old. Okay, this is what a 19-year-old man boy sounds like. My voice doesn't sound like my balls have been stuck inside of my fucking chest for six years. I sound like this. I sound like this. 
I don't sound like fucking Robbie Damon just got punched in the fucking asshole. I don't sound like fucking Drake Bell. I'm a normal human being. Let Peter Parker have a deeper voice, okay? My voice isn't too deep, but, like, my voice sounds like a normal 17-year-old kid. Why the fuck are they... Why are they robbing Peter's nuts? Okay? (laughs) They're taking them shits. They're not letting them hang, okay? Make that man get a cup and give him a deeper voice. It's so annoying. (laughs) Damn. I can't believe you sat through that whole thing. I love it. Like, um, another thing, like, it's, like, so minor, but, like, I've been playing Marvel's Capcom 3 recently, and Josh Keen's incredible Spider-Man voice is in that game, right? So good. And then I popped in, like, the newer Marvel's Capcom, and it's the voice actor from the Marvel Spider-Man show, and I was like, he does not sound good saying these little combo attack things. And he doesn't at all sound like what he looks- this man is fucking massive. This man is fucking massive. Like, if you if you look at the new Marvel vs. Capcom game, look at Marvel vs. Capcom Spider-Man. I'm not even going to put it on the screen for you, okay? <laughs> you look at Marvel vs. Capcom Spider-Man, the new one, this motherfucker could lift the entire Earth on his back. He's so fucking swollen, and yet he <laughs> sounds like a 12-year-old boy. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Like... He looks like it's the same thing with like how Mike Tyson looks versus what he sounds. Same shit. <laughs> why why does he sound like that, dog? Like deep in his fucking voice for God's sake. It's so annoying. Damn. Like this shit gets me so mad. <laughs> fuck. Like I don't know what the fuck is up. If there's one thing I like about Marvel though, it's that like when they find a voice actor for Spider-Man, they'll use him for the next few projects. They did Damn, that with Josh Keaton. I like that, was, yeah. He was in Spectacular. Like, this guy, he, his time is up. We need to get him out of here. We need to get a new one. He was in Spectacular Spider-Man, and then he did Marvel vs. Capcom and a few other things. And then the next guy was, I think he was the same guy that did Johnny Test. He was in Marvel Lego Superheroes. Then he was in a few of the video game tie-ins, and then that was it. We never heard from him again. Then the Drake Bell era. We had Drake Bell in that Marvel MMO, in the show in fucking Avengers, it should have been Josh Keaton. They had a cut of Josh Keaton, and they cut that shit out. They need to release the Keaton cut, baby. And then Josh Keaton got outed for being a pedophile in Guatemala or whatever, and then they got Robbie Damon to do fucking everything. So he's in the show, and then he's in the fucking VR game screaming in your fucking ear, web tap, fuck you. I'm so tired of, like, I'm so tired of Marvel Voice. It gets me so annoyed. It's annoying as shit. My voice just cracked. I'm because now my now that my voice is cracking and it sounds high, I can be a Spider-Man voice actor for Marvel. But I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna wrap it up since I've had you for about an hour, and I want to ask you, what is what is your favorite on-screen Spider-Man adaptation? It can be a movie, be any comic, it can be just anything that isn't the source material. What's what's your favorite Spider-Man? Uh. Spectacular Spider-Man. That's fair. That show was so fucking solid. Man, I fucking... I, we really need more shit like Spectacular, huh? I hope freshman year is good. I'm praying that that shit is good. Oh, me too. I'm like, please. What are they even going to do? That's my question. I don't know. Like, I feel like we've, like... We know what he's done. You know? Like, I don't know if it'd be interesting, like... They just like retcon like a villain in there randomly. Yeah, you know? like what are we like? Is I don't know. Like, cause Peter, it feels like Peter started doing this shit yesterday when Tony Stark picked him up. So like, I don't know. But anyway, that's all. I've been your favorite non-problematic white man podcast host. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it, Kem. I'm gonna put. What links do you want in the description? You want your Instagram, anything else, whatever. Anything you need, some, you need a little sprinkle of clout. Uh, my Instagram and my TikTok. I got you. You should go You should go follow. A lot of people find me from TikTok. And some of you guys who are just strictly YouTube heads, you guys should go check out my TikTok because there's a lot of good content on there. And check out Kems too because I there are TikTok droughts, baby. We're on a post for a long-ass time. But it's like I always say when we and Kem go on live together, when Kem is not, when I'm not posting, 
Cam's fucking posting, baby. And same same way, vice versa. So anyway, Cam, I really fucking appreciate you for having me on. And I've been I've been asking a lot of people this because this this series is low key dying. Not a lot of people want to sit down for an hour and listen to me and some stranger talk. So who do you do you think who do you think would be a good idea to have on? Uh, I think Spider Boy would be good to have on. Ooh, yeah, I, I I actually talk with him all the time. With with uh, we have a junk art server. I'm part of junk art. I talk to him all the time, so I could probably have him on. The lad, like the English lad. Super cool guy, super nice, makes awesome stuff. We have like a rivalry. We have a little bit of a rivalry going on where we fuck because we. I'm like a bit of like classic safe Spider-Man where like I'll make a design that's pretty safe and people like it, but fucking fucking Kean, which is his name, Spider Boy, he likes to get into them fucking trenches and fucking do shit that people are either like people either hate his work or they love it. And I, I kind of I respect that. I respect the shit out of that. And we we're always fucking bickering at each other. So you know what? That'd probably be a fun episode if I had him on, because it'd probably be just us screaming at each other for a fucking hour. So you know what? I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. Anyway, thank you, Kem, so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. Go check out Kem's links. They will be in the link in the description, and they will be in the TikTok. Also, uh, we're trying out something new with the way I upload this podcast and premiere it. You guys didn't know it was Kem until Kem was on the screen, and I'm gonna if it, I'm gonna see if that did well. So either you guys, if you guys fucking came to this video a lot more you than last time, we're doing that shit again. And that's your fault. And I'm not telling you until you watch all the way through. So sit on that. And feel guilty about that next time you don't know who's coming on when the premiere shows up. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Kem. Kem, anything you want to plug before you go? Any any new suits, any sponsorships, anything you want to look out for? Uh, no. Just, just give me follows. That's, that's right. Up. Give him the clout. Give him the clout, baby. Thank you. All right, I'm going to cut it.